Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. An update on Kharkiv Oblast Russian offensive. So the Russians started a new offensive, opened a new front in Kharkiv, Kharkov, Kharkiv in Ukrainian, Kharkov in Russian, and the Ukrainians are uh, unable to stop them. I have here two articles and two maps. So two articles and two maps, one from the New Voice of Ukraine, the other one from Ukrainska Pravda. The Russians also conquered, took over, um, occupied three more villages. I have these articles from today, the 13th of May 2024. So let's start with the first article coming from the New Voice of Ukraine, May 13th, 2024. Russian forces advance. First point, Vovchansk gripped by destruction, fires and shelling, reports the Telegraph. So the Telegraph, the New Voice of Ukraine, and then the next one is going to be Ukrainska Pravda. The renewed Russian offensive in Ukraine's Kharkiv Oblast brought, and I'm quoting, a sense of very deja vu to the remaining 4,000 residents of the town of Vovchansk and nearby villages who spent six months under enemy occupation in the early stages of the full-scale invasion, the Telegraph wrote on May 12. So let me show you where there's Vovchansk, Vom, Vovchansk is. Uh, let's start with this one. So this is the map of Ukraine. This is where the active fighting occurs face to face. And here is Vovchank, Vovchansk. So here is Vovchansk, Volschansk. I'm going to break my... Uh, and I have two more maps. So this is where the Russians are having their offensive. Try to push to get to reach Kharkov, Kharkiv. And this is in, north, in the north part of Kharkov Oblast, Kharkiv Oblast or in the east, far east of Ukraine. So this is the first, and we're going to go to the next um, more detailed map, Kharkiv here. This is where the Russians, how far they were able to get in. And here is Vol Volchansk. It's right underneath here. This is the area where they're, they're talking about in this article. So again, I'm going to come here, and uh, the new three villages that were liberated, conquered, taken over, are in the same area. And let's make this like that. Okay, next article. Ukrainska Pravda. Russians occupy three more villages in Kharkiv Oblast, deep state reports. And they show you here again the same map I showed you, the Kar Kharkiv, the city of Kharkiv should be down south here somewhere. Again, this is how much they advanced and occupy three more villages. This is Monday, May 13, 2024. Deep State reported that the Russians have advanced near the settlements of Verbove in Krasnohorivka, Netoilove, to the west of Semenivka, and to the east of Novopovkrovka, and occupy the villages, villages of Morokovet, Olinovke, of Jesus Christ, and Zelenie in Kharkiv Oblast. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported that the operational situation in, on the Kharkiv front remains difficult and is changing dramatically or dra uh, dynamically, dynamically, dynamically. But the Russians are having tactical success in the Battle of Vovchansk. Why this is Vovchansk? The other one is Vovdyansk. Let's see. What, is, what do I get? Volchansk, clearly over there. And these guys call it Vovchansk, Vovchansk. Okay, whatever you want. And um, that's that's the two pieces of news. The Russians keep advancing. They liberated, conquered, whatever. Take to take took over three more villages. And Zelensky fired the commander in charge of the forces in Kharkiv, Kharkov. So he fires that guy because uh, of poor performance. So, let's see. So here you have an article from the Kiev Independent, where Zelensky says, situation in Kharkiv Oblast is quote-unquote difficult as Russian troops advance. Or if they advance, that, guys, that means they are at the speed light advance. Uh, they will not say this based on previous experience. If they have to say that, that means things are very bad. 
So Zelensky said the situation is extremely difficult on the outskirts of Vovshchansk, a city in Kharkiv Oblast close to the Russian border. The city is under constant Russian fire and our military is carrying out counterattacks. Okay, so this is one. And the other one uh, here, we're going to find out that he, Zelensky, removed Kharkiv commander because things are not going very well right here. Or, where is it? Right here. If I can do that, and I can't, sometimes I feel like a motherless child, right? Right here. All right, let's go back to this. So let's see what's going on. So Vladimir Putin removed Papa Papa, I already covered that one. And then we're going to have the whatever this did, Mr. Zelensky. It comes, or that, the advance and all that, uh, the, as Ukrainian, yeah, because Zelensky is Ukrainian. President Volodymyr Zelensky sacked Kharkiv's commander and replaced him with Brigadier General Mikhailo Drapati amid a surprise attack by Russia. The surprise new northeastern offensive was launched into Ukraine's Kharkiv region, which Zelensky said, which Zelensky said had escaped, escalated, Jesus Christ, escalated rapidly since it began on Friday. And I'm quoting, defense operations and fierce battles, pop, 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 beep, beep, beep. So he removed that guy and they put this guy in charge. So that means not only that, but with the this title here also tells you that Russian troops are advancing and it seems like this being the second front open is going to meet the guys from Kupiansk. So remember this is in the north of Kharkiv and you have in the east of Kharkiv, Kharkov Oblast, you have the Russians also advancing towards Kupiansk. If those things will meet or both of them will head towards, let me show you, towards Kharkov, these guys are toast. Here you have the, let me make it like uh, bigger, or like zoom out. I don't want to stay like that. All right, I will make you. Uh, here it is, the attack here towards Kharkiv, Kharkov, and they have also this thing advancing towards Kupiansk. The thing with I make you, I got to tell you a little story. Um, it was a, um, a Japanese um, shogun. I can't remember his name. It was not Norda, Oda Nobunaga or uh, Oranaga, Tokugawa, Ieyasu or something. Nothing like that. I can't remember. And no, none of those. And he had three sons and uh, he wanted to see how they will rule after his, he dies. And then he says that uh, he invites one after another. He didn't know who to appoint. Not elect, appoint. Medieval Japan. So he invites the first one and says, hey, you have a little bird singing outside and the bird will uh, not sing for you. What will you do? And the first one says, I don't know, I will try to think something or I would try to do something. The second one comes in, well, I will try to, you know, bring some food and befriend that. And the third one said, I will make her sing. <laughs> okay, I will make her. I'm gonna fucking want that's it, I guess. So obviously the last one was not the guy appointed. But every time I think about I will make you, I think about that story in medieval Japan where I will make the bird sing. <laughs> okay, all right, good. That tells you if I want to make that bird sing, what do you think that guy is going to do with the people who don't do what he wants them to do? <laughs> I will make them. All right, here it is, the situation in Kharkiv, Kharkov. And here is the replacement of a new commander. And that's it. Three more villages conquered by the Russians, occupied, taken over, however you, what kind of euphemism you want to use, they are on it. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.